the Joe Rogan experience. That's a crazy place. Costa Rica's wild, man. Mm. Crocodiles and shit. That was another interesting place I visited. The crocodiles are a trip, man, because we were in a boat and we went on this um, like sort of tour of this river system. And you go on a tour of the river system. And I'm watching this fucking 15-foot crocodile slide into the water from the bank. I'm like, fuck. And you see the crocodile slides all over the banks because these, these rivers are just filled with crocodiles. And so anytime my kid would come anywhere close to the railing of the boat, I'm like, hey, 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 mm -hmm. let's stay over here. Let's stay in the middle. Yeah. Get the fuck away from the monsters. I, I met this dude long time ago. I, I don't remember where he was, but we were sitting around a fire talking about like bizarre experiences we'd had traveling, whatever. He was from, I think, New Hampshire. And he had a thing, like you and, and Marshall go running every morning. He had a thing where he and his dog would go down to the lake and take a swim every every day at dusk. After, when he got home from work, he'd take the dog for a swim. It was a black lab, I think. And, um, and he went to visit his brother in Florida. Mm. And he drove down there. And his brother was out And when he arrived. And it was around dusk. And he's like, ah, let's go for a swim. There's a lake. And... He jumps in the water with his dog, and they're swimming across the lake. And he hear and it's quiet, right? And he hears this plop plop, and he's like, "Well, what was that? That's a weird sound." And then he realizes, "I'm in fucking Florida. I'm not in New Hampshire. There are alligators here. What the fuck am I doing?" So he turns around and starts swimming back, and he's swimming along, trying not to panic. And the fucking dog goes. Arr, arr, arr dog's gone Shh. fucking alligator came or a croc came up and took his dog never saw the dog again what it could have been him too yeah one of my favorite alligator yeah. stories from florida is there was a high-speed chase guy had a stolen car and uh he gets to a bridge the cops are chasing him guy jumps out of the car jumps off the bridge gets eaten immediately by an alligator <laughs> Literally landed in front of the alligator. <laughs> and the alligator like, just lucky ah, day. Snap. They <laughs> don't eat people God. that often, but they definitely will. Yeah, like, in it's Africa not like, they do. Well, the crocodiles. Crocs, yeah. Alligators are less aggressive than crocodiles, and there are crocodiles in Florida, but they're much less frequent. What's the difference? Um, American alligator is a smaller animal. Um, they have uh, a, a longer, pointier snout, and they have more exposed teeth. Uh. Uh, an alligator has a blunt, more rounded face, and they uh, they get much larger than American crocodiles. Uh -huh. American crocodiles are pretty small. American alligators get pretty fucking big. So in Africa, do they have crocs and alligators? No, Africa is just crocodiles. Just crocs. They have okay. much, much, much more huge. aggressive crocodiles yeah. too. They have Nile crocodiles. Right. You those, see them take those water buffalo yeah, and stuff. Terrifying. Yeah. Saltwater crocodiles. I thought I'd seen video of what you said, so I googled it four different times at least in the last couple of years. This has happened. One guy lost his arm. Two people died. <laughs> The Florida thing? Getting chased by the cops and ended up getting eaten by an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just that's, one time. It's but happened. that's <laughs> fucking Florida, man. Florida, man. Florida is so <laughs> wacky. Yeah. That is the place where all the refugees and the outcasts, they all go to Florida, man. Yeah. Yeah, more than once. I'm sure. It makes sense. When you jump in the water, man, you're, you're risking it. Like, they don't. They, just because alligators don't eat people as often as crocodiles do in Africa, it doesn't mean that they wouldn't. They don't have a rule book. Right. Like, oh, that's a person, shouldn't right. eat them. They don't give a fuck if you're a dog or a person or a kid. Yeah. There was a, a an alligator ate a baby at Disney World. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. like three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, a fucking two-year-old baby playing by the water. The alligator just be. slides up on the bank, snatch, pulls it right under. Oh, man. Fuck! That's Fuck a bad those day. Yeah. When I lived in Florida, when uh, I was a kid, huh. uh, we lived in Gainesville, and there was alligators everywhere. And yeah. I remember one of them snatched some lady's dog, and I was like, Jesus Christ! I didn't know they kill people's dogs because yeah. you would see them floating around, and they seem so innocuous because they they were almost always still. Yeah. They very rarely moved. There were signs they didn't want you to feed them marshmallows. People would throw marshmallows, and the alligators would eat marshmallows. Uh, and they just don't want you because they, they float well. the marshmallows yeah. float I guess yeah and they yeah. would just chew them up and swallow them so yeah. people would throw marshmallows at the alligators just to see it and that was back when alligators were endangered this was in the late seventies and they're not endangered anymore in fact they 
you could kill as many of like you can get a commercial hunting tag for 500 alligators mm. i watched that on that uh swamp people show <laughs> <laughs> never seen it there's it, a show about alligator killers oh, they're Jesus. just killing alligators because you know a the, commercial market. the last indians to be pacified i hate that phrase that mm. in the united states the last tribe to finally give up was the uh, Seminole in the oh, Everglades. Yeah. Like la- after the Apaches and the Sioux and mm-hmm. all that. Yeah, because, man, the Everglades. Yeah, they take that would pride be a weird life. Yeah. Fuck. To live in the Everglades. Well, the Everglades are a- another thing that human beings ruined because of white trash people in Florida. Because hmm. releasing pythons, there's oh. literally nothing left alive in the Everglades. All the deer are missing. All the raccoons are missing. All all the all the marsh hares gone. Yeah. Everything's missing. Like these scientists and biologists have done these uh, surveys of wildlife, and the difference between like 1980 and 2019 is so unbelievably stark. Yeah, it's so crazy, and it's all yeah. those fucking dorks that want to keep pets, and then they release them. They release them out there in the wild. Yeah. <laughs>